how can you see DNA? I'm Vanessa from CSIRO. Every living thing has DNA in its cells, like this banana. We're going to extract this banana's DNA so you can see it with your own eyes. Here is how you get the DNA out of a banana. Well, the first step is probably pretty obvious. You need to peel the banana and chop it up into really small pieces. You want it to be mashed up really, really fine. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Okay, now you've got your banana chopped up pretty finely. You get a half a cup of warm water, a teaspoon of salt, um, just dissolve those together, and then you blend them. You put your banana into the blender. Tip in the salt water, which prompts the obvious question, will it blend? Let's see. So now we've got the salt water blended with the banana. And we're going to put that back into a, our beaker. You can use a cup at home, of course, if you don't have this scientific apparatus. And next, we're going to add about a, a teaspoon of detergent. Now, the point of this is that every cell, um, every cell of the banana has DNA inside, but it's wrapped up in this bubble called a plasma membrane. Detergent breaks down the fat molecules that make up that plasma membrane. So you need to stir this for about five minutes or so. By now, you've given it a pretty decent stir. That means that all of the plasma membranes of the banana cells have been broken down by the detergent, releasing some of the DNA inside. But the problem is, all of that DNA is still mixed up with the other guts and bits and pieces from inside the cells. All the proteins, all the bits of cell wall uh, and plasma membrane and carbohydrates and other things. So normally, if you were doing this in a lab, you would have a device called a centrifuge, which spins your sample around and separates the heavier parts from the lighter parts. Well, I'm pretty sure that most of you don't have centrifuges at home. So here's a trick that you can do yourself. Uh, Vanessa has been kind enough to lend me a pair of her stockings. And what you can do with a pair of stockings is you can put your sample in the bottom of the leg, maybe in the other leg as well for safety, and you can do a home centrifuge job just like this. So give it a spin for maybe half a minute. All right, so that was a pretty good spin. My arm's just about to fall off, but I think that may have been worth it because if we take a look in there, Let's see what kind of separation we got. So get that out. And that's not bad. So we've managed to separate a lot of the denser components of the cell, which have kind of gathered down the bottom there. And the less dense parts of the cell, including our DNA, are floating around sort of in the middle here. So the next thing we can do to separate it out a little bit further is we can just use a strainer and pour that into another container. So as we pour that through, we're getting rid of some of the larger chunks of banana that might have made it through, and some of that froth from the detergent, which will get in the way of the next step. So the DNA is dissolved in our solution now, but we want to precipitate it out so that we can make it visible. Now, when you add the alcohol, you gotta be really careful not to just splosh it in all at once. Pour it gently down the side of your container so that it forms a nice layer on top of your sample. And as you pour that down and that layer forms, if you look really closely at the boundary between the layer of ethanol and the layer of your banana sample, you're going to start to see this white, cloudy, kind of thready stuff 
starting to form. That is the DNA precipitating. And you can help it along a little bit by using a toothpick or a skewer, and you can gently pass it through that little interface where the two layers meet up and start gathering little spools of DNA together. So there you have it. It's as easy as that. In order to extract DNA from a banana and see it with your own eyes. So if you enjoyed what you saw today, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Leave us a comment and tell us how this experiment worked out for you. If you have any questions or comments as well, please, please leave those comments. And don't forget to give us a like and share this video. Thanks for watching.